In the last lecture, we have discussed about the basis vectors and found that the basis vectors may be along the increasing direction of the quadrant axis or perpendicular to the planes formed by the other two quadrant axis. As for example, in case of the rectangular quadrant system x, y, z, the unit vectors along the x axis which we have denoted by i and that which we have denoted along y axis by j and along z axis by k. Here i is along the x axis as well as perpendicular to z by plane. j is along the y axis as well as perpendicular to the plane xz and k is along the z axis as well as perpendicular to x by plane. But in general, for a linear quadrant system or in general oblique quadrant system, the two basis vectors we have discussed, which is along the basis vector axis and perpendicular to the planes, may not be same. <coughs> now we are going to discuss in three dimensional case space, we can associate three linearly independent vectors called the base vectors in any three dimensional in any three dimensional space we can associate we can associate three linearly independent linearly independent vectors e i e j e e 1 e 2 e 3 called the basis vectors the basis vector A can be expanded in terms of the base vector. Suppose let the vector A, this can be expanded in terms of the base vectors E1, E2, E3. So we can write as A1, E1, plus A2, E2, plus A3. A1, A2, A3 are the components along the base vectors E1, E2 and E3 respectively. In general curvilinear coordinates, base vectors and components vary from point to point. Coordinate bases whose their base vectors changes their direction and or magnitude from point to point is called local basis. All bases associated with curvilinear coordinates are merely local bases. Global basis that is based on that that is basis composed of basis vector that are the same at all points can be associated only with linear coordinates. <laughs> As we have seen that in general in spherical quadrant system, the base vectors E theta and E phi vary from, in, 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 from point to point in direction E theta and E phi. So they are local bases. And in, <coughs> in the rectangular coordinates, the direction of i, j, k remains same. The basis vector which whose magnitude or direction varies from point to point are called local basis. Now, we have covariant and 
on covenant. Four by eight. And contravariant basis. <coughs> basis vectors are usually associated with a coordinate system by two, two methods. They can be along the coordinate axis or they can be perpendicular to the coordinate surfaces. Basis vectors that are collinear with the coordinate axis transforms like covariant vector while those that are perpendicular to the coordinate surface transforms like contravariant vectors. Covariant vectors are designated with lower indices while contravariant vectors are designated with upper indices. For a general curvilinear coordinate system, there are two set of basis vectors for every point E1, E2, E3 or E1, E2. Here E1, E2, E3 is along the quarter axis and this is called covariant basis. And these are contravariant basis. The basis which are perpendicular to the coordinate surface are denoted by superscripts contravariant. So we can express a vector in either covariant basis or in terms of contravariant basis. Covariant basis are those basis which are along the coordinate axis and those which are perpendicular to the surfaces are these <coughs> to differentiate from covariant and contravariant we write in subscript terms as covariant and superscripts as contravariant basis. So we can represent a vector A, we can represent a vector A either in terms of covariant basis or in terms of contravariant basis. In terms of covariant basis, contravariant basis if you write, you will write it like this, E1, E2, They are opposite. If this is contravariant basis, the components are sub subscripts. Now the same vector A can be written as A1, A1. is different. This is in terms of covariant basis, this is in terms of this is in terms of contravariant basis, this is in terms of covariant basis. A covariant vector or contravariant contravariant vectors are represented with covariant basis. Contravariant vector, this is contravariant vector represented with covariant basis and covariant component is represented with contravariant basis. In orthogonal coordinate system, components of vectors along the coordinate axis are perpendicular to the plane formed by remaining two coordinate systems are the same. So in rectangular coordinates, we do not differentiate. In rectangular coordinate system, both these are same. Covariant basis and contravariant basis are, are the same. But <coughs> if we take Instead of uh, rectangular system, we take, uh, say, the oblique coordinate system. So we are going to discuss uh, the oblique coordinate system. <coughs> the 
because our coordinate system is not rectangular, but of this type. Yes. I'm getting only not three dimension, only two dimensions to explain clearly because in three dimension we cannot draw on the blackboard. We will take only two axes. The third axis, if we there, if we consider third axis, that will be around this side. Now to explain it on the blackboard, we have for simplicity we have taken only two axes instead of three. Three dimension we have only two dimension considered only two dimension. Let the coordinate axis are denoted by u and v. So the basis vector <coughs> may be along the u axis and v axis, which is covariant basis, and contravariant means perpendicular to u axis and v axis. So let the covariant basis are along R e one e two along u and v axis and let a is a vector <coughs> component of a along e1 and e2 along e1 and e2 Parallel to draw parallel to e2. This is the component of of A along E2, and this is the per component, and this is the component of A along U. Let this is denoted as A1. And this is denoted as K2. <coughs> we can also consider the unit vectors which are perpendicular to the axis. axis. U, V. And vector A is perpendicular on the U axis. This is the component of A on which is perpendicular to U axis, and this is the component of A along the V axis. It's perpendicular. So let it denoted as A1 and this as A2. Here this was A1, this was A2. <coughs> so the components of A parallel to UV axis. Components of vector A along the U V axis are K one K two and components of A perpendicular to the U to U and <coughs> V axis are A1 U and V <coughs> so <coughs> A1 A1 is a Magnitude of A1 and the direction of north. This vector A1, its magnitude times 
the base, base vector C vectors. So, <coughs> and A2 will be similarly A2 times and obviously A will be equal to A1 plus A2 which is A1 E1 plus A2. <coughs> Here A1 and A2 are called the contravariant components of the vector A. A1 and A2 are called the contravariant components of the vector <coughs> Similarly, we can write this vector, these vectors a1. So, a1 will be a1 times Obviously, in, uh, in we can we have you will find obviously that uh, the here uh, the mod of it, and we have seen in the rectangular coordinates rectangular coordinates this is a vector a can be written as a i plus a y j and the mod of a is given by a square or a x square plus a y square. But in this case, we will find that the square of this and square of this will not be used. Similarly, uh, for a which was given as the square of these contravariant components a1 and a2 is not equal to the magnitude of a. The square of the covariant components a1 and a2 will not give you a. This is easy to can easily be found out that is obviously here a1 square plus a2 square is not equal to a square in this case. We can do that. The squares of this and square of this will not give you this. And the square of this part and this part will not give you what? But <coughs> now, what to do? How to find this magnitude of A? Now, this is Later, the oblique coordinates U and V next certain angle and that angle certain, they make an angle alpha and this makes an angle 
बेटा draw a particular form P to the U axis say it's L. <coughs> let O N let O N is A and let P N which is perpendicular on the O U axis P N as P. Now this O N can be said as O N plus M N and O M O M is this length which is the magnitude of the contravariant component that A1 plus mn, mn is this which can be written as pn cot alpha is pn cot alpha. Take this angle is alpha, this is also alpha. So this is a1 plus Pn, Pn is we have considered as B, which is B cot alpha. Om we have taken as A. So the magnitude of the contravariant components is A which is minus B cot alpha. Now this is A1 and this is A2. This is A2. So the A2 the components of the contravariant A2 is A2 is Pn Pn cosec alpha Pn cosec alpha and Pn is B cosec alpha. So this is A1 and A2. Now the square of A1 and the square of A2 will not give vector A. But in the rectangular quadrants we have found that the square of X component and the square of Y component give you this A. The real vector, mitral of the real vector. But in this oblique quadrate system, the square of these coordinates will not give you the A. Means obviously A square is not equal to A1 square is not equal to A2. We can find out, take the a minus b cot alpha whole square and b cos x square, so you will not find that this is equal to a square. <coughs> so, uh, let us substitute, we are preserving this value a1 as a minus b cot alpha and A2 is 
D Now consider these components, which are perpendicular on the axis, these components A1 and A2, and find that we will see that whether these square of these components leave with A or not. So A1, A1 which is O n here, A1 is this is equal to O n and which we have taken as A. And A2, A2 is this quantity, is this length. So A2 is this is, uh, will be this if this angle is alpha and this is beta, this is the alpha minus beta. So A2 will be A cos alpha minus beta. A cos alpha minus beta and this is A cos alpha cos beta plus A sin alpha sin beta. A cos beta, this is A, A cos beta is O n. So A cos beta is O n, which is small a. This can be written as a cos alpha plus a sin beta. This is a. This any beta. So a sin beta is this is pn, and pn is taken as b. So this is b sin. Clearly, the obviously the square of a one and a two will not give you. Square of a one, square of a two is not giving the value of a square. But if we take one component from sub superscript and one component from multiply, instead of squaring a one square and a two square, take a one from this and one a1 from this and multiply and a2 from this and a2 from this and multiply and, and see what happens so let us take a1 from covariant component and a1 from contravariant plus a2 A1 is here, small a, and this A1 is a minus a minus b cot alpha plus a2. A2 is a cos alpha plus b sin alpha. This is a cos alpha plus b sin alpha and a2 is p b cos alpha so this is a square minus a b cot alpha plus a b cos alpha cosec alpha plus b square b square sin alpha into cosec alpha now this is a b cot alpha and this is a b 
cos alpha, cosec alpha. Cosec alpha means 1 by sin alpha. Cos alpha by sin alpha, that will give you cot alpha. So this is minus AB cot alpha, this is plus AB cot alpha cancels out. Here we have A square and B square. This is sin alpha, this is cosec, which, which is uh, 1 by sin alpha. So, so sin alpha, 1 by sin alpha and sin alpha cancels out. We are left with A square plus B square. And A square, A square is this length and B square is this length. A is this length, ON. And PN is B. So the ON square plus PN square will obviously give A. So this gives you So it means, in general, we have to multiply one component from contravariant and one from covariant to give, get the actual vector, magnitude of the actual vector. So the sum of the, instead of squaring contravariant components and, and adding uh, or taking the square of the covariant component and adding, it's better. It's it's better to multiply one from contravariant and covariant. In general, this is will give you the actual result. But in case of rectangular coordinates or, or orthogonal coordinates, it uh, uh, contravariant and covariant are the same. Here along the axis or perpendicular the axis are the same values so we, we do not differentiate from contravariant to covariant but in general case or in oblique quadrant case system we have to take into account of this particular case that if one component from contravariant one from covariant multiply then add similarly add for all components that will give you the square of the real vectors so, yes, A one, A one plus A two, A two, which is uh, this one component form. Contravariant, one covariant, one contravariant, one covariant. This is A1. Contravariant components can be written, it will be written in terms of covariant base vector and this in terms of contravariant base vectors. Similarly, A2. A2. into A2 that is A1 A1 plus A2 Since E one E one is equal to one E two E two E one or in general. about introduction of covariant and contravariant components.